name is Miko and I'm from Egypt. <laughs> <laughs> How are you, Zoe? I'm good. I'm really good. I want to understand, where is Zoe Saldana, the one I saw in Emilia Perez? Where was she before? Um, where where was I? Um, no, you gave everything. Music, <laughs> performance, action, drama. Like, you gave it all. <laughs> Me, I have a statement to say. I said you brought theater experience to the viewers at home, so thank you. Thank you. Oh, you know what I mean. Yes, that means a lot. That means a lot to Don't me. Don't cry. <laughs> I'm, no, not, I'm not. I'm not going to. I promise to. you. Like, <laughs> so, um, where, where was you? Know, now I understand, like, to answer that. I, I feel like I was living inside of myself and it was, it was, um, I'm, I'm very grateful. Everything that I've done up until now, I mean, starting with Neytiri, it was just an opportunity of a lifetime. None of these roles I would have been able to achieve had I not had dance in my bones. It's, it's my first love, it's my first form of art. Um, it's how I communicated with the world for so long as a child. It became medicine to my spirit when I was going through really hard times as, as you know, losing a father and, and you know, putting my family together with my mom and my sisters. And then to know that, that ballet gave me a gift continuously in, in the form of Neytiri and Uhura and Gamora but then I, that yearning to reconnect with it. I'm a New Yorker too, so musical theater is just a part of your life. You're born oh with jazz hands. My God. You know, and then you have to unjazz your hands. And you totally brought it. <laughs> so to be able, Jack gave me a gift and, and it's so beautiful. I think the whole world's gonna see you completely different after this. I hope so. <laughs> no, I come from a theater background as well and dance and I'm a person, and I was looking at this, I said like, oh my goodness, what is going on here? So what attracted you to the role? Huh? What attracted you to that role? Um, Jacques Odiard, mm -hmm. um, okay. from the beat that my heart skipped, Rust and Bone, a prophet, Deepan, you know, um, mm -hmm. bro sisters, brothers, like everything that he that he did, just just captivated me. There's so much humanity in the characters that he writes and and um, and the stories that he wants to tell. They always feel very grounded. They almost feel like these are real people mm -hmm. and you feel your frustration for them and then you you end up rooting for them in the end. I mean, when when Matthias Schonard's character is punching that river, that lake to get to his son, you're punching there yeah, with him, you know. Yeah, but you I didn't know. start that way. In the oh, beginning yeah. of the movie, you're like, I "Why know. can't this man just get it and grow up?" you know? Oh, no. And and I felt that Amelia was that times a hundred. You know, the character, the lawyer character, is so human. Yes. I, I could relate with her in everything. So I was kind of like, how did she give me a performer and a human in the same? That was she fantastic. was drowning. Amelia, Rita, Rita was drowning. Just somebody with so much potential, so much to give and desires and yet nowhere to put that. So um, I needed to live in that space for Rita in order for me to under, in order for me to know why she says yes the moment mm -hmm. she's proposed to do this and never look back, you know? Yeah, the, the story, it, it like, fixes a lot of identity, the theme, identity transformation. Like, um, there is a lot of social problems, social issues is all in the film. Yes. How proud are you to be part of that film? So proud, so proud. Um, there were words that kept popping up when, when we were shooting this, well, when I first heard about this story where, oh, this, this is audacious, this is provocative, this is nuanced, and, and, then, and then in the end, this is important. This is, these women yeah, are important. Yeah, it matters, mm -hmm. exactly. It matters. So talk to me about the singing and working with Selena and Sofia. Oh, it was, it was amazing, and, and with Ariana too, it was an honor. Uh, you know, usually when you, when you start on this business, uh, you think, you believe that you made it when you're the only girl in the cast or the only woman in the room and and um and then you feel so lucky you're like ah out of everybody they picked me and as if like you have something better over women throughout the years of doing that over and over again you begin to feel really lonely and isolated because we need each other women we need each other um, but you, you women win one uh, best actress yes. in Cannes yes. for this, you know, yes. so three of you. Yes, I, we, have, we have Jacques to thank for that. Um, he, he, he allowed these women to, to be full and wholesome and to live their full journeys respectively. 
never in a million years was I ever expecting my name to be called out. I was rooting for Carla because oh. I was very biased. I was like, oh, Carla's the best yes, this year. Yes, I know I she love. is. And um, to hear my name and Selena's and, and to Adriana's, I, I didn't, I have no words. It was just like, I was making sounds. So I was crying a lot. And you never acted in Spanish before? Yes, I've had, but but never never to this sort of extent. So that was beautiful. Well, good luck. Thank you so much Thank for your you. time. I loved every minute with you. <laughs> I want to stay, but they can come here. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> I see you tonight at the premiere. Yes, absolutely. Thank, Thank you. you.